What is up guys, Vibe Striker here, welcome back to another video and today we are player reviewing Juan Bernat's Champions League Showdown card. So the two cards for the showdown, uh, one from PSG and one from RB Leipzig. Uh, obviously the winner of the uh, tie will get an upgrade and the loser will stay at the 92 rating. So with this Juan Bernat, I've done it because if you look at the team I've built now, we have a 98 rated Neymar and I needed someone to link in nicely, which turned out to be Juan Bernat. So that's why we've done the card. Uh, in terms of the actual card itself, high medium work rate for a left back is pretty standard to be fair. Uh, full backs usually are high medium. Uh, left forward, left side, so that's good as well. Four star skill moves, three star weak foot, not massively worried about the three star weak foot bear in mind he is a fullback I'm not expecting him to be using his right foot a lot of the time uh, like I said Paris Saint-Germain Spanish so fits in nicely with the La Liga side and the uh, Neymar the stats are pretty good the pace is actually quite good for the 95 acceleration 90 sprint speed the attack position at 91 surprised me a little bit but um, I'm not worried about him pushing forward, especially with I have him on stay back while attacking. He did uh, stick to his position quite well. Uh, the passing side of things, uh, the 89 uh, vision 93 crossing does come into play in the uh, video and the highlights. He does make an assist for the cross. Uh, the short passing at 93, long passing 83, and the curve at 89 as well. All very good stats for uh, a full back. The dribbling side of things, all 90 pluses apart from the composure and 86. And it did show because he was very good on the ball. He was, uh, kept the ball close to his feet, was able to uh, dribble quite well. And it was nice to have a full back I could bring the ball forward with. A bit risky when you do it with your full backs because uh, if you lose the ball, it means you expose a bit of the back. But obviously, the 95 for acceleration, 90 spin speed helped me in that sense because he will get back quickly. Defensive side of things, uh, all in the uh, 90s, apart from the heading accuracy at 65, but um, I'm not expecting much from full back and heading accuracy. You know, he is also only 5 foot 7, so you know, it's not a big problem. Uh, the defensive uh, awareness at an 89, uh, yeah, it, it definitely helps that it, everything in that defensive side of things was uh, pushing 90, if not pushing 99. He did show that he was quite solid defensively. And then the physical side of things, the 98 jumping, again, with him being 5 foot 7, uh, it helps, but I wasn't expecting him to win a lot of headers. Uh, the 99 stamina and 95 aggression was massive and also his strength at 76. Can't really ask for much more from a, a small fullback. I put a uh, backbone chemistry style on him purely because I saw a lot of people putting anchors on him and I was going to but I didn't have one. But I didn't want to go out and buy one purely for the play review. But I also wanted to upgrade these passing stats purely so I could see how he was passing wise and he did show to be fair uh, the 94 it goes they bring the vision up to a 94 the cross up to a 99 the short passing goes to a 99 uh, the long passing goes to an 88 and the curve goes to a 94 all the defensive stats are nice hitting uh, the 99 mark apart from the heavy accuracy obviously but down that six uh, that 70 now and the jumping hits a 99 with the strength going to an 81. There's no traits for him, so there's nothing absolutely massively uh, needed for that. Overall, I thought it was a very good card. We'll show you the highlights now and I'll get into my final review of Juan Bernat. But like I said, defensively, very good. Uh, that header there, away from Lucas Vasquez, goes out for a throw two uh, in good interception there stopping the counter attack and another one there kind of breaking up that play good little run here being uh, Lucas Vasquez and then playing the ball through for Ansu Fati that's what I mean when I tell you it's good on the ball 
can push that ball forward a little bit, get it into the opposition half, possibly in the final third. That's a great touch inside as well. Pushing the ball into the final third with your fullbacks. It's risky, like I said, but um, when you can do it and uh, a player like Renat is able to do it, it's fantastic. It's a lovely switch that from Carvajal. This, I think I tried to play the ball forward for Ansu Fati, it didn't quite work out. But knowing that he could put that ball into the, uh, the, the final third was good. His corners were decent as well. Uh, got it pretty much on the money. And then this was the uh, finale for him. The assist, lovely weighted, great cross into Adarit for the goal. So overall, I was happy with him. I think he was very good for the for what I needed him to be. Um, it was very good. I think against this Phil Mendy, I think they're very similar cards. Uh, but to me, if this card gets an upgrade, it'd be even better. The fact that he links in uh, the Neymar perfectly gives him the time chemistry that I needed. That was the main reason for me bringing him in. And I think it's all fault positive stuff. If PSG win this game, I'll be happy because I'll get this upgrade then and this will be the main team from now on and I think that that is positives all round. I don't think there was really many negatives with him at this stage in the game you don't really get many cards that are going to be a massively negative pretty much every card you're going to get is going to be suited to the game and they're not going to be overly expensive due to the fact that the game is pretty much done uh, the next game comes out in about a month, maybe just a month and a half now. So all the cards that you're going to get now are going to be solid 90 plus cards. And if they're not, they're not going to be uh, worth doing. So for me, if asked about this uh, one by now, is he worth doing, uh, worth getting the FBC and getting him in your side? I'd say yes, definitely. Um, if you can link him into your side like I have done here, it's definitely worth uh, the I think it's 110,000 coins for it. It's definitely worth that if you've got the cards to put in for it, which I did. I didn't think it cost me a thing to do. Um, then it's even more worth it, especially if you have like PF, a league earned side or you want to kind of mix it up with a bit of a hybrid side like I've done here. Uh, it just made the fact that I can get this Neymar into the left side uh, perfectly with the 10 cam and that is the main reason why I did it and to be honest in game it was I didn't feel like I was lacking anything and it was just very solid fallback guys if you like this video please leave a like if you haven't leave it a dislike comment what you want to see on the channel subscribe if you haven't and until next time guys take care